Hello there. Hi. Hi. This is a Star Wars joke. Obi Wan's famous line. Hello there. Okay. Okay. A couple of you got it. General Kenobi. Yes. Thank you. Somebody had to say it. Uh, John Adams was born in Massachusetts in October 30th, 1735. Educated at Harvard University, he wanted the colonies to be independent from England. After two terms as vice president, Adams became president. He was the first president to live in the White House. On his first night there, Adams wrote, May none but honest and wise men ever rule under this roof. John Adams served one term. President Thomas Jefferson replace him. The, uh, that was interesting that Harvard University has existed for longer than the United States has. Um, but uh, what do we need to fix here, uh, Morgan? Uh, it's the wrong there. The wrong there. Whereabouts? Oh, Don't say there. His first night there. His first night there. Uh, yeah. E R E there, uh, Marielle. The replace after Thomas Jefferson. Uh, replaced, yes, past tense. Ashton. Um, I appreciate your willingness to phrase that in the form of a question, but we're not on jeopardy, so you can just tell me England should be capitalized. Yes, you don't have to. You don't have to ask. <laughs> B rating. Uh, the M in Massachusetts. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, Bianca? I have nothing right now. Okay. Aurora? Yeah, I have nothing either. Okay, uh, starts with a J. John? Um, good. Harvard needs to be capitalized and maybe also university. So sometimes university when it's being used as part of the name, as, which in this case it is. So I'm going to university next year uh, is a small u, but I'm going to the University of Winnipeg or whatever would be a capital U if it's part of the name. Um, also starts with a J. What is it? Jordan? Jordan. Um, he was born in October. Uh, on October 30th, yeah. So the rule here is if we didn't say which date in October, we could say he was born in October 1735 if we weren't saying the specific date, um, but on a specific date. Uh, Tiara, have I pestered you yet? Okay, um, is there something? Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, he wanted the colonies to be independent. Be. Yeah, to be. Uh, we wouldn't ever say to be. Uh, always to be. It's what's called the infinitive form of the verb, not that... Uh, that grammatical sort of vocabulary is really important for you. Um, that's, I think, eight, uh, nine, ten. Okay, I, uh, I can see at least two more. Maybe there's more than that, I don't know. Um, well, it's Jordan. Um, wise. Wise, yeah. What's wrong with it? S instead of Z, yeah. Is that yours, Marielle? You got another one? Yeah, colonies should be spelled with an I-E instead of a Y because the letter before the Y is a consonant. 
So in the letter before the Y is a consonant, the Y changes to IE when adding S. That's the, uh, that's the rule. Uh, anything else that you see in there that you have questions about or concerns or complaints, considerations, conundrums, catastrophes? I can probably stop now. All right. <laughs>